Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and a new video. Today we got some company. This is Ari. This is Ari. Oh my god. Wow, just look at him. And he smells puppy, you know the puppy smell, oh my god. So he just woke up, he's really tired, <laughs> so I'm gonna put him back in his basket and I promise you that you're gonna see more of Ari. Just look at you, wow, wow. Oh. Can't even put words on how much I love that little thing. Just after for two days. Today we are talking about new beasts in the gym and also how to stay motivated. We are gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna show you what lower body workout. I have put down five exercises and exercises that should be simple for you to, to begin with when you are in the gym. We're gonna use machines because most often machines feels more comfortable working with when you are new in the gym. So, five exercises working with glutes, working with quads, working with hamstrings. We are so ready. Let's go. Jumping right into the workout and we have 10 till 15 minutes on the cross trainer. And this is to get warm and to get the circulation in your whole body going. We don't want to hurt ourselves when we are in the gym, so a warm-up is really, really important. First exercise, and this is the leg press machine. It's a really, really good exercise to start your lower body workup with, and also a really good machine to start when you are new in the gym. The only thing you have to think about is your knees. Don't lock out your knees. It can be really, really hurtful for you if you are doing that, so please, Please don't lock the knees out. Have them slightly bended, take control over the exercise and do the exercise slowly. Slowly reps is better than doing as fast as you can, as many as you can. It's better to feel how the muscles are working. Press from your whole feet. You can see how I am having my feet. And then going down in a press and push up the weights slowly and control. Exercise number two is the alternating dumbbell lunges. I've chosen this exercise because I think it's a really, really good exercise and it's a real killer for both your quads and your glutes. I really like to do walking lunges, but we have to start somewhere, so this is a really good way to start. I'm standing up having the dumbbells in my hands and from this I'm taking one leg at a time in a front step. So I'm going down and then pushing back up. Taking the other leg and going down in a front step and then back again. Something to think about when doing this exercise also is to take it slow. Take every step slowly so you really feel which muscle groups are working. We're working with quads and glutes in the dumbbell lunges. And when I'm going down in a front step, I am pushing with my whole foot straight back into the start position again. Exercise number three is the lying leg curl machine. I've chosen this one because when you are new, you want to find the muscles. You want to feel how the muscles are working. And the lying leg curl is for your hamstrings. So this is going to be a really good way to start and to feel how your hamstrings are working when you are doing this type of exercise. So. As you can see, I'm laying down on the machine. The only thing that can be a little tricky when it comes to the lying leg curl machine is that how should you install the machine for you, for, for the machine to fit you. So the only thing you have to think about is that your knees should be in line with where the bench ends. That's a really good starter point when trying to find out how to install it. So I'm lying down, as you can see where my, my, my legs and my knees are placed. 
also stomach and like the whole body down on the machine. Keeping my heels up and like toes straight down and then just curl up the weights nice and slowly. If it feels wrong, maybe adjust the pillow that you have your feet on. Exercise number four is a dumbbell hip thrusts. Hip thrusts are the most amazing, amazing exercise ever for your glutes, I promise. So, in the beginning it can be a little bit hard to get the normal, regular hip thrust right. So I want you to just feel how the movement are feeling when you are doing the exercise. So I want you to begin at some point. You don't have to have a barbell and do the barbell hip thrust, but we're gonna start with the dumbbell hip thrust because yeah, I want you to feel how the exercise feels and how the movements feels and how you can feel the exercise work with your glutes. So the most important thing when doing this exercise is that you should have your upper back on the bench and then your chin should be against your chest. When you have a position like that, as you can see how I'm doing it, you are not gonna over bend your back. That's the most common mistakes when doing the hip thrusts is that you are over bending your back and losing the contact and the isolation in your glutes. Picking up the dumbbell, placing it in my knee, in my hip area, and then standing a little bit more than shoulder wide, toes a little bit pointed out if that feels better, and then just do a hip thrust all the way up and squeeze. And as you can see, my chin and my, my chin are against my chest and my eyes are always forward. Last but not least is the adduction machine. If you don't have one of these machines, you can easily do this, the same movement with a mini band. I will write it in the description below so you can see it. For those of you who have the machine, I want you to place yourself in the machine and like just go with the machine. This is a really, like it's really simple to do this exercise, but it's also a real killer. So I'm gonna show you a tip that helped me a lot in the beginning and it helped me feel the exercise so much more because as you can see, I am sitting in the machine I have my toes pointed out, that's something that really helped me. And then I am sitting straight up instead of, because sometimes you are too short or maybe you're too tall, I don't know, but I'm too short. If I am leaning back, I'm losing a little bit of contact in my glutes. So I'm sitting straight up and then I'm doing 10 reps, just seated, seated, just seated up and then I am leaning a little bit forward, holding in the machine and then working 10 more. That type of superset and doing like the same movement but in two different ways really helped me when I tried to find the right contact and to find the exercise really burning. Yay, that was the lower body workout. I really hope that you liked it, guys, and I hope that you wanna try it out. It's a really good workout. For those of you who are not new in the gym, you can easily do this workout as well. You don't have to have more than five exercises to be able to like smash your legs and smash your glutes. It's all about like mindset in your head to feel how the muscles are working. It's not a competition of how fast you're gonna do the, the reps, the sets and the whole workout. It's about you're gonna go, you're gonna walk from the gym and really feel the exercises in your legs and in your lower body. That's the most important thing ever here, okay? For those of you who would like to add some calves, you can just do standing, calf raises, really good. And if you don't have a machine like that, just take two dumbbells, place them on your knees and do the race. We are gonna talk about where to start. If you are new in the gym, where are you gonna start? And how are you gonna think? First things first, everybody's different. Everybody has different body types and everybody gets, 
gets different results. That's what we have to remember. There are no shortcuts. There are no perfect golden rule. If I had a shortcut, if I had a golden rule for you, I would give you that one. But there are nothing like that. We need to remember that. And we need to remember that we're doing this for us, for yourself. When starting to think about a goal, everybody are talking about goals here, goals there, and that's really good because we need to have a goal, but first we need to figure out why do we have this goal? Why do you have this goal to go to the gym and make those results and make yourself feel better? Why do you want this? That's the first thing that we have to start with. Second is to don't put so much press, pr pressure on yourself in the beginning. Because if you do, you're gonna have a hard time to keep it up because like you are new. You're new at this and you need a routine. You need to be able to make a routine in your daily life. And you can't compare yourself to a guy or a girl that has been training for years and years and maybe train for five to six times a week. That's not possible to compare yourself to that person. It's really good to have as a goal, but keep in mind we're new and we need to be focusing on ourselves and our own goal and like figure out what works best for us, for yourself. That's like it's a that's a golden rule it is because you need to be focusing on yourself that's why i need you to think that we're going to start with maybe two or maximum three workouts a week because we need to get into the routine we need to have that okay so today is a training day today we're going to go to the gym and tomorrow we're going to rest and then the day after maybe we we'll go to the gym again so we need to have some kind of routine that's really important when it comes to your training and staying consistent. Also, allow yourself to have a shitty day because everybody has crappy days. I have them really often. It happens from time to time and it's like we're only humans and it's, it's okay to have a day that is shit. You go to the gym and you just feel like, I don't want to do this, I don't have any motivation at all. Just complete your workout and go home and don't think about the workout because in the end the best workout is the workout that you actually did. So try to see something positive in that day but if you can't that's okay. Just go home and then reload, take a rest day and then go back to the gym. It's gonna help you, I promise. And the routine is really important to have like if you have a routine you know which days you are going to train and it's also really simple to have a rest day because so many people have problems today with taking rest days and there's nothing wrong with taking a rest day it's going to give you more so much more than you think because you can rest your body completely it has the time to just like relax recover and then bam go again so with the routine, that's actually as a number three, like a golden rule again, that's like a number three that we have a schedule to follow, a plan to follow, maybe four weeks or six weeks or eight weeks of a plan. It's really good to have because then you can compare your results and there you have the motivation. When you see your results, that's your motivation. When you see how you can transform your body and make your body stronger and see those results, that's like, that's the most amazing thing ever because you did it by yourself. You did everything by yourself. That's the motivation. And sometimes, of course, sometimes it takes time to get those results, but you're gonna get them. You are gonna get those results. Start from the beginning, take a picture of yourself, keep it for yourself. You don't have to show it to anybody if you don't want to, but keep it to yourself and then just compare. Four weeks after, I promise you, maybe two weeks after. Maybe you are one of those persons who get results really quickly, but one thing that you have to remember now is that don't stare at the weights. Like, don't 
go up and weigh yourself every single morning because when you're training you're gonna you're gonna store more water and you're gonna see that on the scale so don't compare yourself with the scale feel your body get to know your body and feel how you are feeling when you are training when your body is responding to your training and your workouts that's what that matters that's what matters not the scale now you might think how do I stay motivated because you can have you can easily get the motivation on a Monday like BAM I'm gonna smash it today I'm gonna do such a good week and you do you complete the week but then next week you're like no I don't want to do it and that's okay like maybe that week wasn't for you maybe you have to switch something maybe you have to mix and match your workouts more and like the main thing when it comes to motivation the best motivation ever is your results so if you have been doing one or two or three weeks and you can't see that much of a difference maybe you need more time maybe you are allow yourself to have more time for your results to show or maybe you need to be looking at your food your nutrition because it is how people say when people say it's 70 percent of your nutrition and 30 percent of your training that's actually true that is fact it's fact if you want results you have to look over your nutrition during your days something that you have to remind yourself of is that you are so much stronger than you think you are when you are at your limit i promise you i dare you to try to do two more reps i promise you that you will do it you will do it if you just push yourself hard enough you will do two or maybe three more reps you can always smash a little bit more that's actually how i am thinking every single day when i'm in the gym if i have a rough day i'm like i get mad at myself and i'm like i i'm gonna do this because i can do it i'm strong enough and i can do it so when i have a hard time doing an exercise and i'm doing like 10 reps and it's really heavy i dare myself and i challenge myself to do two more just because it's heavy as and it hurts and it's like burning and it's like all over the place i always challenge myself to do two more three more always try to keep the level and the limit as high as it goes i'm not doing it every single day because we don't have that kind of days every single day but I do it really often and it really helps me so much. <laughs> I hope that you liked this video that we did today, guys. And I really hope that you could find some way of feeling motivated for yourself and maybe starting to write your own schedule. If you would like me to help you, you know that I have my website with my different guides, both for two full body workouts. I have a group workout, I have a home workout. So. In the description below you will find my website if you would like me to help you otherwise just kick ass i promise you you will make it happen okay guys so thank you so much for watching today i really hope that you like this workout don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell so you never miss a workout with me everything about the workout will be in the description below have an awesome day bye did you say bye you're so tired. You are so tired.